Hello guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome. And today we will be making this thing. We will be making my bottom navigation bar, as you can see here. I go to home and this is home and I go to dashboard. This is dashboard and I go to notifications. Surprise, this is notifications. So let's get started. Now, this is pretty easy and I am very happy <laughs> to see this Android has added this for quite a long time now we have this bottom navigation bar here so if you create a new project you can just click on this and click on next let's name this my bottom bar and just finish it and let it get started so here we are guys and this is what we have now let's click the split view so we can see our design too with the code let's see how it looks like okay so this is what it looks like now let's go over what things we have here with us let me just fix this okay so now this is what we have right so first we have as root constraint layout and then this is the root yep 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 this is the root now i'll just explain what the, what these things are if i run this this is what i get so we already have a functional bottom navigation bar but but this uses uh, fragments and view models so i will explain you, uh, to you what those things are bear with me okay so first of all we have this main activity open here and as mentioned as i mentioned we have this constraint layout as the root and then here we have bottom navigation view now this is the main thing here this bottom navigation view instead of top we have it at the bottom here right and and then we have a fragment this is the fragment this thing is just the fragment all right and this is the bottom navigation bar now yep this is pretty much it now what else do we have we have a fragment dashboard we have similarly home and notifications so if we click on home our home fragment should be shown if we click on dashboard our dashboard fragment should be shown and if we click on notifications this notifications fragment should be shown okay now let's see how this is being handled because this is already being handled as you can see if you click here this is shown if you click here this is shown this is already being handled by default for us um, this has made our job pretty simple so let's see how we are doing this now let's open up your main activity and if we can see here uh, this is pretty much uh, what we do in everything every activity we just override our on create method here and then we set our content view to our main activity and our bottom navigation view is uh, just the reference to our navigation view here all right now if you guys think i'm going pretty fast or if you don't understand anything just ask me in the comment section below i'll try my best to clear your doubts all right now this thing is where we are doing most of our handling stuff so First of all, we have this app bar configuration. Now, what is this? As you can see the comments here, it is written passing each menu ID as a set of IDs because each menu should be considered, considered as a top level destination. Now, what is a top level destination? Now, if you see here, if you click on any of these things, the title uh, remains the app's name. It does not go to home or dashboard or notifications. Why is that? That's because these things are not set to be top level destinations now uh, before i started recording this video i had say made some changes and uh, didn't set these fragments to be our main top level destinations that is the reason this is not happening now if we run this okay so the app is installed now now if we can see here again see now we have home written here dashboard written here and notifications written here all right now, so what is the nav controller? Nav controller is what controls the navigation. This is a, a must, you need to initialize the nav controller. And in the second parameter, you send, you use the host view. So our host view, as you can see here, is a fragment. It's this fragment that will host dashboard fragment, home fragment, and notifications fragment. So in our nav controller, we need to pass this. Now, this is where we are setting up our 
top level view with the nav controller so our nav controller knows that which view is open and all of the views are these three are top level views as because this is being changed here so you know we need to tell our nav controller that so this is where we do it we set up action bar with nav controller and here we pass our nav controller and our app bar configuration and in our app bar configuration we have set our top level destinations all right now similarly we set our nav view with our nav controller what is our nav view nav view is the bottom navigation bar so we also we need to set our navigation view with our navigation controller right and we need to set our navigation controller with our app bar configuration so that we know which uh, which view is top level or not all right so this is pretty much it so what we what did we do here we first set the layout uh, set the content view and then we got a reference to our bottom navigation view so that we can uh, you know uh, handle clicks and that stuff all that good stuff and then we configure our app bar navigation controller and then we set up our action bar with navigation controller and then we set up our nav controller with our navigation view all right now what is this good stuff here what is this dashboard home notifications uh, before we go into this i just one thing just came into my mind that you might be confused about how is this being handled how clicking on this how clicking on dashboard is taking us to dashboard how clicking on home is taking us to home so let me go over that okay so now if we go back to our main activity you can see here navigation graph is here so now this is what is handling those things now if i click on this control click on this mobile navigation as you can see here this is what it is see we have in our mobile navigation in the root we have our navigation thing and inside that we have our three fragments all right these three fragments now you can see the idea of these fragments it's navigation home navigation dashboard and and navigation notifications so these are the ids and uh, you can see the corresponding layouts the fragment home layout is being used in this fragment the fragment dashboard is being used in this fragment and fragment notification is being used in this fragment so this is the nav graph here all right so this nav graph thing handles that now since we are clear of that let's go back to where we were and where was that i was going to explain these things now these things uh, all of these things are similar so i'll just explain this thing and it's similar to those these two now as you can see here we have two things one is dashboard fragment and another is dashboard view model now this is can be considered as a part of mvvm architecture that is model view and view model and this is our view let me close these things because uh, so we can focus on just one thing now this is our view so uh, the the thing is in our views we don't do any computations or don't apply business logic or don't get data from database or network we do that in our view model all right so in our view model we just get the data from databases or networks or load the data from anywhere we want and we send the data to we don't send we actually don't send the data we just get the data so now what happens in our views is now views is listening for the data from its appropriate view model okay so let's see how it is done now this is pretty basic stuff uh, as you know this is on create view and in here till these things we are just setting references and setting values now we have a dashboard view model here dashboard view model because the, we will be using, using this dashboard view model to get the data for our dashboard ui okay now here we are just initializing the view model and this is how you initialize the view model right and here we are just inflating our root view and since this is the dashboard fragment we are inflating the dashboard fragment and here we are just setting a reference to our text view in the fragment this text view that is showing this home fragment and stuff all right now this is the thing what is this you might be confused by what is this so what we do here is we reference the view model right this view model and we use view models get text function and then we use observe so you can think of it as we are saying uh, get text show me what text to get the text with, that needs to be shown 
and then we are observing it. Observing it means throughout the life cycle of the fragment, uh, you might get different things here. So like, you are getting this is dashboard fragment. So let's say there are changes, there are changes in the network and the new text is this is a very good dashboard fragment. So you don't need any code for that. We just need to observe the data here of the get text. And if the data is updated, your view model will send those updates. And since you're observing, you will get that update and you will use it in a text view like this. So let's see what this get text is doing in our view model. Okay, see, as you can see here, this get text is returning a live data. This is not just a string. So you cannot use this observe on a string. To observe, you need this thing to be a live data. So as you can see here, the, uh, the return type of our get text method is a live data. Okay. That's why you are observing, you are able to observe this thing. Now, it is returning M text. What is M text? M text is mutable live data. Uh, what is a mutable live data? Mutable live data is the data that can, that's values can be changed and can be updated. Okay. So right now we are just setting the value of this M text to this is dashboard fragment. But if we were getting this from a network, from an API call or whatever, uh, maybe it changes in a minute or in two minutes. So uh, that's value will be changes. Uh, sorry, what am I talking about? That value will be changed. And that once this value is changed, uh, initially, let's say it's this dashboard fragment, but and then we do a network call and then it's changed. This is the, this is the new dashboard fragment. So once we change that again, this keeps observing and then it will automatically be uh, received here and the new text will be shown here in the text view. All right, so that is how it uh, works. So we have our fragment here, right? The view and then the view model here. In the view model, we are getting data and we are applying a logic here. So that is it. And more, one more important thing, keep trying, play with it and do whatever you want with it. Add images here and do anything you want here because you need to understand this, how this view model and how this fragment is working. And if you have any questions, I'm here for you guys. Just do your best and let me know if you want to ask any questions. I'll try my best. Peace out.